It's impossible. Rest assured, your eminence. I am fine. What's going on? Yes, sir. Yeah. How y'all doing? It's your man, it's Johnny. Yeah, yeah, yeah. AKA Mr. Four Point Wow. Welcome back to the University. Say what's up, you know what's up, because I already said what's up. Ah, 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 ah. That's enough chat. Let's go get that 4.0. Okay, Godoy's still down here reading the book. Let me see what's up with him. Duke Manuel? Monsieur Bonaparte stood me up. Would you believe it? Ah, the French. So tell me, what can I do for you? I want to know some stuff about the al -Azif. Earlier, you mentioned the arrival of a certain Al-Achif No, and... no, Al-Asif. I spoke to you about a certain Al-Asif. Oh, sorry. I got mixed up. Uh-huh. Al-Azif, then. Hmm. Let's read your mind. Al-Azif. It's not really all that difficult to remember. I wonder what role he is to have in all of this. It should not be long before we find out. According to Sir Gregory, he will be arriving just before the conference starts. I'm sorry to have troubled you. I'll be leaving now. Perfect. I was going up to my room anyway. Uh -huh. See you later. Get on so, out of here. Home has planned something to do with the Alazif just before the next conference. Uh huh. All right then. So I'm knowing some stuff. Glad I glad I read that man's mind. To Piaggi. In. Ah, well, Louis, what brings you back to my chambers? May I sit down? Oh, of course, Louis. I think I've only been here once. Don't you feel good? Yes, but if I'm going to pass inside you, I'd better sit myself down first. Oh, that's it's what I'm supposed to be doing. About it. Well, what can I do for you? Right. Now I need to concentrate. I wanted to speak to you, Your Eminence. Let's speak about the demons that he knows. Speak about the Holy Lands. Speak to him about politics. Questioning. Hold on, what kind of man is he? I know he don't like conviction. I know he don't do conviction. He's immune to logic, vulnerable to manipulation. We got five devil's thorns. Occultism. Do you believe in demons? What are you uh, talking about, Louis? Where is he going with this? I can feel something. Demons, your eminence. I am a cardinal. Of course I believe in him. What on earth is the matter with him? Is he losing his mind? All right, hang in there, Louis. Don't lose him. Rest oh, assured, wow. your eminence. Uh, wow. I'm fine. I... Mm. But... It's... Impossible. Rest assured, your eminence. I am fine. What's going on? Uh, uh, I've done it. That was that easy. I've done it, damn it. He was right. This is just crazy. I can't believe it. Look at yourself, Louis. You better not get caught. Well, let me Whoa. put me. I still need to get used to this body. So, let's see about what Mortimer asked me. Right. Well, it's time I got started. Oh, let's so I got to do this. I don't got a choice. Help me write that letter. I have no means to validate my forgery, so I better take my time with them, not make any mistakes. There are two letters from the Pope on the desk. Okay. I should be able to get a clue or two by checking how well they correspond to each other. And here are three stamps. All are different. Alright, let's read the letters on the desk. Read the first letter. I gotta actually read it? Oh my gosh. That's, that's annoying. My dear Giuseppe, as my health does not allow me to honor Sir Holmes' invitation to go to Lord Mortimer's, I should be grateful if you would sit at the conference on my behalf. Naturally, you will be give 
my thanks to your host. Consolidate our agreements with Sir Gregory and let him know that our, his ventures regarding Cardinal Bishop Chiramonte or whatever is following its course. I have every confidence in you. May God bless and protect you. So, SS Giovanni Angelo Bracci. P.S. Do not use your personal stamp when writing me. Instead, use the one with my motto in it. Motto on it. The 1231-1792 GF. G G J H whatever. My dear G Giuseppe, I know you're on your way to Lord Mortimer's residence. I hope you have a good trip, even though you're obliged to to the cross of, to cross the French countryside at present, very agitated. Know that this mission is crucial, my friend. May God bless you and protect you. S S Giovanni Angelo Braschi. D zero one seventeen seventeen ninety three E H H B C F. What is what is right contents of letter, right code. Choose the right stamp for the letter. Choose stamp. What? I don't even get it. Where is Piaggi's name in any of this? These look like letters he's received. I don't know. Right. Well, let's start writing. Lord Mortimer asked me to discredit Sir Gregory and to announce Piaggi's final vote in his favor. As an introduction, Your Holiness, thank you for your trust. You know what? Mortimer did say the... the nah, but that stuff he said about the slaves was... It was a little iffy. He was like, free the slaves. And then instead of working I don't know let them work everything was let them work it was so much work and labor and I don't even like working and labor but either way the slaves was gonna be working so it was like dang I mean well the enslaved people were gonna be work that's tragic but he ain't he ain't, he want to free them I can I can do I can get behind that Holmes just want to keep the monarchy, I don't know if he got any, he ain't say nothing about the slaves to me. He ain't really on my side. He, don't, he wasn't on my side, my people's side back then. I'm gonna discredit it home. It turns out, now that I'm here, that I find Lord Mortimer's projects grant us many more advantages in comparison to what Sir Gregory had suggested. We are talking about the future of the Holy See. Hmm, there, that should be enough to justify the change of vote. Write the code. There's a kind of code composed of six letters that they always write under the dates of their correspondence. According to Mortimer, it's got something to do with Piaggi's tattoo. I guess I'll have to write one for today's date. Now, ideally, it'd be better to do without it, but I'm going to need to be extremely clever here. Today, the date is 2401 1793. Do without the code. Think about the logic of the code. In the letters from the Pope, there are six letters just below the date, two just below the month, four others below the year. Piaggi's tattoo. It must be used to establish a connection between the letter of the concentric circle and the number shown in the middle. Think. Some figures are the same in both codes. Yet, they correspond to different letters. The day is not translated. That must be the key to the code. The day is not translated. Then why does the thing have a 31 on it? I don't get it. E-H. How is E-H? One. And then 1792 is G-H. F J, but 1793 is H B C F. What what kind of code is this? Hold on, the math ain't mathing. The math ain't mathing. Not immediately. No. Do y'all see the math mathing? Okay, then seven over is one, two, three, four, five, six. I got it! <laughs> Look at this! Look at this! Okay, so you start at the day, right? The day is the 17th, right? So then, 
you don't translate that though, right? So the next number is zero. So since 17 is on E, right? From zero spaces clockwise from E on his hand is still E, right? So you just put E. Then for one, okay? One, one is, you know, one. So one space from E is H. Then again, one, one space from E is H. Then uh, seven, seven spaces from E, right? E, E, H, I mean, no, H, A, F, I, G, J, B, seven, seven, okay? Today is the 2401-1793. That's it. Choose a stamp. Notice something about the stamp. In one of the letters, the Pope asked Piaggi to change and to stop using his personal stamp. He asked him to use the one with the Pope's motto on it. Oh, thank God he knows the Pope's motto, because I don't know. I don't know the Pope's motto. Be in Latin. And I remember that. Flore in Domo Domini. Flore in Domo Domini. Great. So let's look at the stamp with Flore in Domo Domini. Look at inscription on the stamp. Justicia, misericordia, e humildad. Boy, I gotta brush up my foreign languages. No, that's not it. A circle with a cross inside. That's not it. I don't think. I think that's a Floro Domini right there. On it is written, Flore in Domo Domini. Well, that's that's the Pope's motto. It just we just use this one. It said choose the right one. I got the right one. It's it check marked it, so it can't say I'm wrong. It's not like you can change it. Finish it. Let's go. I discredited home because I don't support slavery. Your eminence, all ready to send. What's he doing here? Damn it. That's all I need. Don't worry. He can't hear us. What do you mean he can't hear us? What's going on here, Piaggi? Oh, God. Golly. Occultism? No, that's his strong point. I don't know nothing about this man. Ha! Dang. Devil Storm. Immunity occultism. I had a feeling. Tell him Louis is passed out. He's gonna say he's tired. I don't know what How? He was already here when I entered my room. I presumed he must be tired. Tired? Are you having me on, Piaggi? Or what? What? I wouldn't dare. I don't know what you're trying to pull, but I really don't like it. I was about to fetch someone to take care of him. Would you care to go? There he is. And there he stays. <laughs> The perfect opportunity. What do you mean? It's been a while now that I've been hoping for a chance to get rid of him. Uh, uh, no, listen, my son. This is all getting out of hand. Hogwash! I don't trust him in the slightest. Why not? Can you keep a secret? Of course. Of course, my son. Would you like to tell me under the confidentiality of confession? Ah, don't talk rubbish. I don't trust the little runt because he is Mortimer's son. Would you believe it? How does he know? Dear God, how is that possible? I am flabbergasted. We've wasted enough time. What if he wakes up? If you don't want to get your hands dirty, just turn away and leave everything to me. This is not a decision to be taken lightly. You're defending him now. What are you talking about? Of course not. He's made you change sides, hasn't he? Home will be against it. Not in my room. Home will be against it. That's right. He made me change sides. Not in my room. Committing a crime in my room is out of the question. Think, it will all be on our heads. 
No doubt about it. I, I refuse to run the risk. Right. Okay, okay, Monsieur cool. Von Vorn, I always act in the best interest. I can't all. lose this, bro. I assure you. Everyone's entitled. He's trying to murder me, bro. You must have lost your mind to want to take such an extreme course of action. You must no have lost your you mind. Help me do it. You run the risk of getting the conference canceled. I will tell Mortimer. I will tell. Report you to your king. How I keep getting this stuff back? He is capable of reporting me to Sir Gregory. Uh, I'm really risking my neck here. I'm telling home everything. If you lay a finger on him, I'll denounce you to Sir Gregory. I'm warning you. You old weasel. Very well, Piaggi, you win. I refuse Snitching. to the first thing that comes into your head. Snitching. I don't know what the two of you are up to, but I'll find out sooner or later. Right. Time Got to edit my camera. My oh. Man, that man tried to murder me, and I almost let him do it. Please make Piaggi pass out when I wake up, because he need to be slumped. Right. Don't just stand there, Louis. Mortimer's waiting for you in the red salon. All right, where you at, home? Where you at, Unc? Wait, I thought I was supposed to talk to... I thought I was supposed to... Oh. Go... Ah, hold on, I thought I was talking to Holmes in here. So, Louis, what was your first time like? Bewildering, isn't it? Here's your letter. He's probably going to read it. I have to admit, the experience was utterly amazing. Come, tell me more. <laughs> Let me say, come, tell me more about your demonic presence. I had to do it twice. No, I didn't. It was no difficulty. Everything went as planned. I didn't encounter any particular difficulties. Well done, you. On my first try, well, it took me three goes. But you did it. I said, there's my unk. Gregory? What can I do for he you? He pulled up. I just come to make sure dear Louis has all the information he needs. Needs for what? You are free to make your own choices, William. I would like the same for him, too. There's nothing I want more, Gregory. Your schemes will lead to your demise, brother. Don't involve Louis. He has nothing to do with all this. The end of the conference approaches, and this masquerade will soon be torn asunder. Don't drag him down with you in your disgrace. Oh, ye of little faith. On the contrary, brother, Louis has just entered the family. Give him a chance to find his place. His place? What do you mean? What place is that? At the end of a leash, like all the others. Don't listen to him. He's angry with our father. Oh. And with good reason. He governs us in the same way he governs humanity. Through fear and submission. Same old tune. When will you understand that it's necessary to impose order for things to move forward properly? You are under his thumb and proud of it. Open your eyes for crying out loud. His whole system has become outdated and he's too old to see it. He will lead us to our demise. There he goes with another of his grand speeches. William has always been fond of staging big scenes. It's his theatrical side. I'm not saying nothing. How dare you? You are blind, brother. Even if the evidence bit you on the nose, you still wouldn't see it. I feel sorry for you. You gonna stab him? Is drunk hot or not at all, William? When will you learn? Is he gonna throw the tea on him? What kind of is that disrespectful in their culture? It's too bitter. You shouldn't let it brew so long. I knew you'd be coming along. You are so predictable. Methodical, I would say. Things must be accomplished in the right order if we want the world to keep turning as it does. It resembles an autocratic regime. And too bad for the consequences. Questioning. You came here to warn me, sir. No, to advise you. Advise me against my father? But why? I think you are capable of deciding for- You haven't answered my question. Why warn me against my father? What are you afraid he will do to me? Well, I wouldn't want him to lead you into 
I don't know what absurd adventure in you which... You act as though I were in danger. I agree with Louis, baby. You're trying to pass me off as a villain about to devour him. That's not funny, William. I won't let him follow you. You see, Louis, Gregory came here to make you change your mind. It's time for things to change. I acknowledge Father has done many good things for humanity, but his time Jesus. is over. And now he must pass on the torch. That's enough. There, Louis. That's the pathetic example your father has to offer. I really am sorry about what happened to you. You don't know our family yet. We can't have given you a very good impression, but bear in mind that we are all against William's project. On the contrary. If he insists on going through with it, we will have no other choice than to intervene by force. Consequently, my dear Louis, you're going to have to choose sides. I would much rather have met you in different circumstances. There you are, Louis. See what happens when you don't follow their orders to the letter. Louis, I'm afraid the time to decide is now. <coughs> if you follow William, he will drag you down with him. If, on the other hand, you support me, I can assure you that nothing will happen to you. You won't be blamed for your father's errors. Ah, oh, the masks are off. I offer you liberty. He obliges you to choose, and shamelessly asks you to betray your own father. That is their true face. Right. Before I answer, well, I better think it over. Well, aren't carefully. you betraying your Do father? I to embrace my demon nature and take my place on the chessboard? Do I stay out of it and do my utmost to stop them, or do I renounce my nature and do all I can to stay human? <laughs> I am a boy, Damon. <laughs> um. But look, bro, there's no cap. Like I'm a demon, bro. Like, why can't I just be a demon and you know my demon name be Ben and I just don't be in it? Like, why I gotta be demon and be in all they business? Like, I don't want to do that. Why can't? <laughs> If I'm a man, will they understand that I just don't want to go ahead with the plan? Like, is that what... Come on now. Oh, my God. What if I'm not really a demon, though? What if they in my head making me think... No, I wouldn't be able to do all these powers. They wouldn't give me... I don't know how they gave me the powers. What if demons had the power to give you powers? Did he give me powers? No, he just unlocked it. I don't know. I am a demon. I'ma say I'm a demon. It's useless trying to resist my true nature. I'm a demon. May as well accept it. The sooner the better. Even if I continue to live as a human, all my friends and acquaintances will inevitably end up dying. And I'll be left on my own. Forever. That's sad. I'm a demon and I have to behave like one. The sooner, the better. So? <coughs> what do you choose, Louis? Why is it always like this? Why is it always like this? It's always mmm or mmm, but never mmm. You know what I'm saying? Never mmm. Join forces with Mortimer. Go with my dad, my father, who's going against the rest of the family. A family of eight demons? No, well, not eight, but you know, he got seven other brothers and sisters, right? He got two grandchildren. No, Jesus is dad of his, his Jesus is our grandfather. And then Jesus got two grand, no, three grandkids, but one of them dead, cause my mama, all right? But my sister and me, I, I don't think we ready to fight. Set eight eight demons, including Big Papa Kronos. You know what I'm saying? Big Jupiter. I don't think we gonna no, no Big Kronos, cause this is Jupiter. Mortimer is Zeus, and then Kronos is Jesus, and then that's like Poseidon, and then I'm like Hercules. I'm not trying to get beat up by the whole family, Dad. Are you gonna protect me? I already wrote the letter, denouncing home. I wish this was Twitch. I want help. I want help. I need someone to talk 
too. My father's going against his own father. This man just said, if I don't go with him, you we are not, I can't stop no hits put out on you. I can't stop no jumping, no hits, no, no quarrels. But my daddy don't, my dad did say, slavery needed to be ended. But you know what? Last time I went on the guise of, you know, let me trust a brother, I ended up stabbed in the back of my neck. But I don't think I should do this this time. Ah! What am I gonna pick? They make it seem so final. Bro, I'm about to roll the dice on this, bro. Where are my dice at, bro? I already lost my hand. Man, any, many, miny, mo, catch a tiger by it toe. If y'all let him go, my mama told me to pick the one right over here, and you are it. I ah! Very well, but don't say I didn't warn you. Please, don't take offense, but I just can't turn my back on him. It's time we finished what we started, brother. The final vote of the conference over the acquisition of Louisiana will take place in a few hours. I propose you gather your troops and prepare to close the debate. That's precisely what I was going to suggest. Come, follow me. It's time for us to get ready. Bone apart? Oh, you still think I'm a traitor, boss? I remember that sly, slick stuff you was talking. Do you really think we have a chance of winning? A no. chance? <laughs> you don't know me very well, Louis. We are going to win. But it only takes one person to vote against us, and we'll have lost. That's true. That's why none of them will. Why? Because I have an asset that they do not. Which is you. My friends, prepare yourselves. The conference but don't have me doing dirt in this dang conference. Time has come to lay down all our cards. Well, that's a great stopping point. For once, no fails, no alternative paths. Right? I said that's a great ending. Uh, with my dad on this one. I don't know if that's the right decision. I could end up murdered for it, may not. I don't know, my whole fit. I've, I've read Greek mythology, all right? The, the whole gang could run up on me and do me dirt, all right? So if you enjoyed this video, please like, comment, subscribe, join the university. But we out. Peace, peace. Perfect. Why, thank you. I'm feeling pretty good about it. Give him a 4.0 G's. Certainly, sir.